everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel News. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, Disneyland's new Haunted Mansion expansion and what will it mean for you, as well as some survey results from last week's discussion on Yacht and Beach Club. Yes, let's start with the Haunted Mansion. The original Haunted Mansion, a little bit different than the... Magic Kingdom version at Walt Disney World. Different theming, etc. More like a stately mansion type. And there are some big changes coming to it after all this time. And this will start in early 2024. But what we don't know yet is how long it will take and whether the ride will be open through this or through part of it because yeah. it's not all indoors. Well, that's the key question. So there will be multiple additions that will add on to the story of, you know, the classic Haunted Mansion in Disneyland Park. But they're kind of being a little bit vague about what's actually going to happen here. Yeah, so here's what we know right now. Changes will include an expanded outdoor queuing area that's intended to sort of further immerse you while you're waiting for the show and enhance the theming. And this is something, if you've been to Walt Disney World in Florida... For a long time, then you saw the change that they did. They did this, a version of this in the Magic Kingdom, I don't know, quite a number of years now, maybe 10 or I can't even, 10 or 12 years now, something like that. They changed the queue. Yeah, they know how to manage those long ride lines. Yeah, and they made it interactive and there's some fun things in there. So, and attention Disney shoppers as well, I should say. Yes, again, much like Walt Disney World, they will be adding a new Haunted Mansion store right next to the exit area where there's, you know, currently like the merch carts and such. And this will follow the addition of Memento Mori as we have at Walt Disney World, which was originally reimagined from the Yankee Trader Shop. So I'm excited to see what they do in Disneyland. Yeah. So when you come out of the ride now, there's sort of carts and they have Haunted Mansion stuff on it. And there might even be some food there. I can't recall offhand, but there was no actual physical shop. So they are building a shop. A nice little blast of AC we always like. Yeah, and they're going to also enhance all the grounds around the Haunted Mansion. They do have a lot of space. There's a little sort of pet cemetery that you almost had to have someone take you back to see the whole thing. So they are calling this, of course, a spirited metamorphosis to bring the immersive theme to the outdoor space all around the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. So now we have a backstory to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. in true Disney style, there's a backstory emerging. Of course. So local legend suggests that the manor was first built by a prosperous sea captain, and to this day, his staff faithfully maintain the happy haunting grounds. And it's interesting because... You know, these backstories, they haven't really... I have not seen the movie. So maybe this is in the most recent movie. But in the rides itself, they haven't really played this up a lot in an obvious way. I will say, in the queue at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, there is a sea captain sort of statuary thing of him in a casket or something like that. I'll post some pictures of this this week so you can tie in with what we're talking about here. So they're going to also tie in the Haunted Mansion. Sounds like similar stories at the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. I was going to say, I do wonder if they take inspiration from the movie and what they're doing at Disneyland. Yeah, uh, well, uh, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, hopefully they keep it more classic and long term. But the new expanded queue is going to tie into these stories and including new gardens, one inspired by Master Gracie and one inspired by Madame Leota and one inspired by the creepy one-eyed cat. Ooh. Of course, Madame Leota was modeled after Leota Tombs, an Imagineer. And so I like how they're giving her a little more play out in Disneyland. Yeah, and these gardens will all have, you know, specialty items. Like some will have a water fountain or a gazebo or, of course, like themed statues and things in that area. So I'm excited to see them. They sound very interesting. Yeah, there's even a new greenhouse where the Haunted Mansion groundskeepers grow their plants. Now, I wonder if, you know, just a greenhouse growing plants, are they going to tie this in somehow? Do you go through the greenhouse? I don't know. Or is it just in the background? Yeah, maybe they're just making a longer line and disguising it as a reno. Yeah. And the pet cemetery, which I mentioned, and the horse-drawn funeral hearse, not a horse-drawn carriage, <laughs> will continue to be on the ground. Yes, so they're not course. getting rid of those. They will keep everyone's favorite photo op. And then Madame Leota, since she's always been a Haunted Mansion favorite, her presence will be expanded outside the walls as the carriage house of the mansion, which belongs to Madame Leota, will become the shop. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. 
I hope they make the shop bigger there. I mean, because it was Yankee Trader before, as you mentioned, and they just converted it into Memento Mori, I find it kind of small. And also, they don't keep stock. Like, I really wanted that button-up collared short sleeve shirt, sort of white with almost a purplish-gray Haunted Mansion sort of sketchy graphics on it. The thing was gone instantly, never to be seen again. So, you know, make more stock and have a place to sell it. Well, <laughs> search on eBay would be my recommendation to no, you. No, I'm not that desperate, but I'm just saying, if you're going to have yeah. new merch that's popular, you might want to sell know. more of it. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking in comparison to other ride shops, uh, such as the one for Space Mountain or, you know, Rock and Roller Coaster or even Tower of Terror, ride shops like that, It, you're right, it does feel a little bit small. The Tower of Terror one's not bad. It's pretty big. Actually. No, I mean Memento Mori in comparison. Oh yes, it, yeah, it's because they you know built on existing yeah, space. So this course. is going to be different. We'll see. Now, yeah. timing for all of this stuff has a lot to do with obviously the expansions in Tiana's right next yes, door in New say, Orleans well, they are Square. Very close. Yeah. So there will also be a transitional space because while Disney is blowing off transition with things like the new Polynesian DVC villas. They used to be very conscious about transitioning from one land to another. Yeah. They obviously are not on Seven Seas Lagoon, but here... Well, hopefully at Disneyland, they're staying more true to their roots. Yeah, let's hope they are. So they will have a transitional space between the mansion area towards New Orleans Square, and they're making it a park setting. Are the trees going to get gradually more dead as you go along? I don't know, but they are adding new trees, they said, and keeping some of the trees that are there right now. So they're trying to give you shade and places to sit. And they even said there will be entertainment there. So that's yeah. nice. And, you know, any more shady spots are always yeah. welcome. Also, some more good news. Disney is taking this opportunity to improve the accessibility in these areas during the construction. So they will have a new elevator exit from the Haunted Mansion for guests with disabilities. Yeah, or that'll be a great thing. You know, yeah. I like how they're doing as much as they can. And here's where I was getting into. It's not the ride itself. So none of these things sound like they're changing the actual Haunted Mansion doom buggy portion. But this portion does touch the ride area. I was going to say, you're going to be really upset if it's closed next summer, aren't you? Yeah, well, that's the question. Now, they are starting it in January, I believe they said. But they don't give any sort of timeline yet. They'll, of course, release more information as they go. So whether or not the ride will be closed at all or will be closed only for a portion of time where they are working on that exit area, as you noted, nobody knows yet. It's yeah. all a mysterious future. Yeah. Well, we'll have to look into Leota's crystal. Of course. So they've, they're going to share more information in the coming months. But they are hinting at things such as... The objects found in Leota's garden will be inspired by her incantations. So you know where she saying all those things, you know, send me a sign from somewhere beyond. So yeah. we'll see what happens with that. Well, it all sounds very similar to Walt Disney World's queue, as we've mentioned. And there is a hidden murder mystery. Yeah. So though Disney queue, when they redid it, there's a lot of things you can touch and interact with. And they chime and, you know, it's like an organ and things. But... Many people do not know that the busts in the queue, there are, I think, five of them. We're going to post some pictures. They tell a story. There's a murder mystery. And you can follow along and read what's on each of those and determine which one of those was the killer. Yes. So there's a really cool murder mystery in the Haunted Mansion Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom queue. Yes. Are they going to add that here? I sure hope they do something not exactly the same. Yeah. But something inspired by that. Yeah. So if you are a frequent, you know, Lightning Lane user or if you've only used Fast Pass a lot, you may not have seen it. But if you ever find yourself in the regular queue, it's fun. It's fun to look at. You know, it's almost worth it doing it. You'll get on the ride eventually. But if you rope drop or you're there late at night, don't take the Lightning Lane queue. Go through the regular queue and you will see the bust area and just yeah. take a look at the what's written. We've done it during the Halloween party one year and that was the first time I'd seen it. And I was like, oh, I almost, I almost want to wait in line. Actually, I found I first, was too rushed. The first time you saw it, maybe I'll post a picture. You were quite young. Well, maybe eight or something. I don't know. Oh, I felt much older. Yeah. So I have a picture of that. That's And it was in the daytime, but you didn't, you know, you weren't really doing the murder mystery part. But you that's the first time you saw it. And that was pretty recently after it was launched. So we'll post some photos of that if you aren't familiar with it or if you have not taken the time or did not even know there was a murder mystery in the line. So lots of cool stuff in the Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom Haunted Mansion queue. 
let's hope they up the game at Disneyland. It sounds like they're doing a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot yeah. of opportunity in these grounds to have some fun. And I'm excited because the murder mystery at Disney World is quite fun, but you can only do it so many times. You can only so. do it once, really. Once yeah. you know the answer, that's it. And it's, then you forget it every couple of years and you do it again. It's more. It's not like a dinner theater. I mean, you're, just, you're solving clues, but yeah. that's, you know, so they don't change. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be fun yeah. if they had like yeah. screens on the tombstones. Yeah. Or even a better way that didn't look like screens because that would sort of ruin the effect, okay. I think. Well, Disney, there you go, Imagineer, is a new challenge. Well... I'm excited to see what they do at Disneyland. At the very least, hopefully, it'll give me one new thing. Yeah, so to there try you go. The uh, you have until January at least to get on this ride <laughs> without any any uh, interruptions. Yeah. But we don't know if there will be any at all to the ride. Itself. Well, I um I imagine they are waiting for their both of their overlays to finish before correct launching yes. in. This will start after the Christmas New Year season. Yes. All right now. Last week, we talked about Stormalong Bay, another closure, a long closure, probably the longest pool closure of any Disney Resort hotel, and a significant one because it is such a gigantic pool at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts, at least five months, could be half a year or more. So we asked you, as we said we would, would you still want to stay there if the pool is not available to you? And our responses were 71.4% agreed with me. (laughs) <laughs> no, they would not stay at Disney's Beach or Yacht Club when the resort pool storm along Bay is closed. I feel this is getting twisted. 28.6% said yes, they would still stay there. And there were even comments, I don't care about the pool. So that's fair, right? If the pool, yeah. you know, if, if it's more important to you for the proximity to two parks, which is great. But my point was, if your main feature pool is going to be closed, then maybe I want to stay at Boardwalk with that reimagined pool. Yeah, and my point was, if my only two options are Boardwalk or Beach Club, it's going to be Beach Club, regardless of the pool. Okay, well then you were with the 28.6%. That was my only point. If my options are Beach Club or anything else, it's a different question than just Beach Walk or Boardwalk. No, I think you have to take it from the perspective more of if you're planning to stay in that area, how much does Stormalong Bay affect your decision to choose that side of Crescent Lake versus the other side of Crescent Lake being the boardwalk in. Anyway, there you have it. So, Disney, you may have a... Or or if you have a hard time getting into Beach Club, this may be your time to do it. Yes. If these survey respondents were actually booking vacations at that time. That All right, true. that's the haunted news for this week as we approach the Halloween season, a timely announcement from Disneyland. Thank you for listening. As always, follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. We love interacting with you, and we thank you so much for listening to the show every week. Take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye.